Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition of The Muir Reflection. John from The John Muir Show here. And over the weekend, President Trump took to social media to announce that he is considering a pardon for former U.S. National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Flynn, of course, being one of several individuals who got caught up in the Russia investigation the Russia investigation, which yielded no evidence of impeachable conduct or criminal offenses on the part of President Trump. As for Michael Flynn, he was convicted of process crimes, notably making false statements, lying to investigators, even though the investigators in the case have since come out and said that they never believed that Flynn had committed a crime. They never believed that Flynn had lied to them. Uh, rather, these investigators tricked Flynn into pleading guilty to counts of making false statements, uh, even though, again, they never believed that he did make false statements. So, look, it, it's clear that in the United States, if you are guilty of a crime, then yes, you should be held to proper legal account for the crime you've committed. And it's imperative that in the United States, all U.S. citizens are held to the same standard, meaning that all U.S. citizens would be punished equally in our criminal justice system for committing the same crime, uh, regardless any outside factors like the politics of the individuals who have committed those crimes. And if a U.S. citizen has not committed a crime, obviously, that U.S. citizen should not be facing any legal consequences. And that's the case with Michael Flynn. Again, there is no evidence that Michael Flynn has committed any crime. Though it seems there are still some very powerful people out there in our government who do want Michael Flynn to face criminal consequences for any actions he'd committed, even though, again, no evidence he committed any crimes. It seems it's uh, pretty clear that there are government officials who still do want Michael Flynn to be punished in a court of law, even though the guy didn't do anything wrong, even though the guy didn't do any crimes. That obviously is an abuse of power on the part of the individuals who are still pursuing legal consequences against Michael Flynn. And it most certainly should not be tolerated because this should not be happening to any U.S. citizen. No U.S. citizen who has uh, not broken the law should be facing criminal consequences, but nonetheless, Michael Flynn to this day is facing criminal consequences. And as a result, President Trump needs to step in. He needs to right this wrong, and he absolutely should issue a pardon to one Michael Flynn. That's all the time that we have for today. The John Muir Show each and every weekday, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.